Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a reflective text effect in Adobe Photoshop CS3 or CS4. It probably works for CS2, I have no idea, never tried it, never seen it, anything like that. So, uh, well, just try to do it if you have CS2 and uh, good luck then. <laughs> now, all you have to do is open Photoshop, I have it right here. It's basically going to look like uh, this, like, look like this, sorry and uh, it'll look like you have your normal text and you have some text underneath flipped vertically and it'll just fade out uh, all you have to do to do this is click file new or open if you want to apply this to a background you have now I just click for go and go new because I just want to show you guys set the width to a thousand a thousand add ok take your text tool and just write anything random you want YouTube and put it a bit above the center because we want the whole thing to be the center so now that we have it we want to click F7 you know hold, hit F7 on your keyboard or click layers or if it's not there window layers and F7 is the hotkey now right click this little YouTube layer uh, duplicate the layer and okay now move it down edit go and edit now transform and flip vertically it's going to flip vertically and we're just going to drag it up we don't want to hit uh, the other YouTube we want to be uh, connected we just want them to have this little this is the water and uh, here is the surface and the reflection so uh, we want it to be underneath the water now what you want to do is take your gradient tool and hit Q. Uh, you might have the paint bucket tool selected. Now what I always do is I uh, just make a straight line down here. Now you'll have this little ra red gradient or something. Just hit Q on your keyboard again. And um, what you want to do is right click YouTube copy now and hit rasterize or click rasterize type this will do that it will be disconnected from other things or I don't know I don't really understand but this works as now I'll hit delete on your keyboard and delete again I always delete it twice you can delete it three times if you want delete once more and this is how it looks control D to deselect and now you have your little reflective text effect uh, if you want to move this a bit more down you can always hit shift and uh, select the other layer and move it more in the center hmm. and uh, yeah that's basically how you do this then thank you very much for watching please comment rate and subscribe would be the best thing to do if you want to support me and my channel so thank you very much for watching and have fun bye